Well, good morning. Different type of video today. Today we're uh, on Askham Fell between Ullswater and the Lowther Valley. And today we're going to have a look at uh, some Neolithic uh, remains, monuments, call them what you will, and uh, see what we find today. So the first one is called the Copstone. You can actually see it from here. It's not very far away. I'll see you up there. So this is the Copstone. And the Copstone is the last remaining megalith of what was once a ring cairn. A burial mound from a Neolithic time. Over my right shoulder you can see Blencathra and to the uh, to the right of the uh, the Copstone you can see Carrick Fell. And this forms the start of the Muadivik Avenue which was uh, thought to be a funerary procession route. Right, we're going to move onwards. We'll see what else we can see. Well, these are two stones that mark the uh, funerary route from the Copstone over there obviously behind the camera on the skyline and through the middle of the stones there you'll be able to see the Askham Fell ring cairn that's where we're going next so I'll see you over there So I'm now stood in the centre of Askham Fell Ring Cairn. Now this is apparently a very unusual ring cairn. It's also very well preserved, especially considering the antiquarians had a good rifle through it. And they found cremated remains in the centre, just behind where I'm now stood. Yeah, when you stood here with these sort of things, you can't help thinking how things were three, four, five thousand years ago, which is when this would probably have been constructed. So there's more yet to see. We'll uh, we'll head further west, northwest. Right. Well, quarter of a mile back, we passed. Moor Divic number five, which is a strange name. I didn't film it, there's not much known about it, but uh, I will film the next feature of note, which is uh, White Rays. Quite a lot known about that. Not that far away from it now either. So this is White Rays, and this is at the end of the Moor Divic Avenue. As I've been walking along, there's been quite a few stones marking out the avenue. But this is a, a round cairn, would have been made of a huge pile of boulders. And then within it, they've made a cyst. This big stone here is the lid of the cyst. In 1860, when this was excavated, they found a human folded up into a crouched position. They think it's a Bronze Age burial. So, very, very well preserved. One of the best preserved there is, apparently. Certainly in Northern England. Behind me, 
behind me over there on the skyline, I hope you can see, there's the Howgill Fells. And there's a lot of horses around the Copstone where we started. So as I say, this is the end of the Moordivik Avenue. But we aren't finished yet. We're going to go and look at another feature. This moor is covered with cairns, ring cairns, burial mounds. It must have been a hive of activity. Anyway, we're going to head over to the south. So we're quite close to the cockpit now, which is uh, the last point of interest that we'll look at today. So we'll see you further on there. So just before we uh, go and look at the cockpit, we'll have a look at the view. This is the view to the west. Can't really see much to the east, but got Blencathra over there. And as we come round, Carrick Fell, which is very distinctive. So this stone circle, you'll have already seen an aerial view of it, is the cockpit. It's a bit of a mystery. No one's quite got to the bottom of why it was constructed. But current thinking is that all these stones originally were upright on a bank. So like a ring cairn really. And this uh, floor which is now covered with grass and turf is cobbled. So that's about all I can tell you. No one knows quite when it was made or what it was for. So there we go. Some things are just a mystery. Obviously to uh, be able to tell you things about these places you've got to do your research. In a moment I'll show you which book I've got most of the information from. And if you're interested in this type of thing I'd highly recommend you go and get it. Not cheap, but it is excellent. And it's in sensible English. So, hope you've enjoyed this different walk on Askham Fell across Moor Divock. And uh, I'd just like to say thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.